Hey guys, welcome to Caffeinate Math. I've got my coffee and I'm ready to go. Today's lesson is brought to you by Donald Duck. We are diving back into the number line today. And if you missed the last video about where the number line was born and why it's groovy, you better go check that out first. Today, we're going to use the number line a bit more. And to be honest, I'm really just using this time to make a decision for myself. So you can help me with that. Okay, let's see what's on the agenda today. We'll learn about how we use number lines to compare and order integers, what symbols are used for comparing integers, and what inequalities are. All right, let's go. Okay, here's the big decision I'm working on. I'm trying to figure out where we should go on our next winter vacation. I've been asking around and have gotten a lot of suggestions like Nice, France, Bratislava, Slovakia, Brussels, Belgium, Dublin, Ireland, St. Petersburg, Russia, Riga, Latvia, Istanbul, Turkey, and Ufa, Russia. <laughs> Ufa, that's a funny name. Anyway, what I know is that I want to go somewhere warm, where the sun is shining and the birds are chirping. Anywhere cold and windy? No, that's out of the question. So I've been doing a bit of research, and I looked at the average December temperature in each of those places. Here's what I came up with. Oh dear. Well, all the information's there, but it's kind of a jumbled mess. That's not gonna work for me. I need to put this in some sort of order so that I can see it better. Um, let me try this. I'll use a number line. And I'm just gonna plot each of these data points on it. I'm using the degrees Celsius. Oh, that's much better, so much easier to see. And now check this out. I'll just put them into a nice neat table for myself, and that's it. In the math world, we call this ordering integers. In my world, I just call it making life easier. And it worked, because I can totally see which is the warmest place. You know where I'm headed? Nice, France. But before I go, and you know, while I have you here, there's another cool thing we can do with the number line. In addition to ordering integers, we can also use the number line to help us compare integers. To compare integers, we use these symbols, greater than and less than. They're called inequalities. I'll show you how they work. But before I do, let me give you a hint. As you can see, the inequality symbols look so much alike. They're just mirror images of each other. So I could never remember which one was which. Now you may think this is childish, but I just think of a hungry alligator and the hungry alligator always eats the bigger number. Watch. Let's say I want to compare the numbers six and negative two. The first thing I'll do is draw myself a number line. Then I can just plot each number on the number line so that it's easier to see. Now the bigger numbers are always to the right of the smaller numbers. So I can see that six is to the right of negative two. It's bigger, and that's the one the alligator will go for. His mouth makes the sign. See, it's the greater than sign. So I can just write myself a little math sentence here. Six is greater than negative two. Isn't that cute? <laughs> okay, don't laugh. It works. Let's try this again with 4 and 10. First I'll plot them. 10 is bigger because it's to the right of 4, so the alligator wants to eat the 10. I'll just trace the alligator's mouth. Ah, that's the less than sign. And now I write a new math sentence. 4 is less than 10. Okay, one more thing. Let's bring back my vacation options just for a second and compare a few city temperatures. Instead of using integers, we can replace the numbers just with the names of the cities. So let's see, try this. 
What's the temperature in Riga compared to the temperature in Ufa? <laughs> that name just always makes me laugh. Okay, well, Riga is to the right of Ufa on the number line, so Riga is warmer. The alligator wants to eat Riga, or maybe I can just say the temperature in Riga is greater than the temperature in Ufa. Okay, what about comparing Dublin to Nice? Let's see, Nice is to the right of Dublin, so the temperature in Nice is higher, so the alligator eats Nice. Wait, I mean, the alligator eats the bigger number. <laughs> okay, you get the picture, right? I think we'll stop there for now. The number line is a great tool for ordering integers, comparing integers, and figuring out where I should go on my next vacation. Thanks for the help today. I'll see you next time.